Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice reading for January 5th, 2017. Um, welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. Welcome back to those of you who've been here before. This is a general reading looking at the energies that surround us at this time, what we need to know about these energies in order to be able to use them for our highest good. And so since we're looking at energies, these will play out in different ways for different people. And that's why I always encourage everyone to keep an open mind and take away the message of the reading and then apply it to your own situation if you feel that um, it speaks to that, if you feel like the, the reading is giving you some sort of message to help you with your current dilemma or your current situation. Um, and let's have a look at the energies for today. Thank you for joining me. And my intention is that these messages help us. With the daily messages, it's not so much a predictive reading as it is just a look at the potential surrounding us. Things that we um, could be aware of and maybe that would benefit us and allow us to resolve situations in our lives or turn things around for the better or at least, you know, things that make us more aware and if it's just to give us peace of mind in terms of, oh, that's what's been going on. Um, then whatever way these messages help you, I do hope that they help. So uh, let's have a look. The first card that we have representing the influence of the past on our current situation is the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups, this talks about um, feeling a little bit sad and discontent and bored with life, okay, in general is what I'm getting with the Four of Cups. It's um, a bit of a pity party energy um, where you know, it's for whatever reason, we get to this point where nothing makes us happy, happy, or we are unable uh, to focus on the blessings, or we forget to focus on the blessings, or we forget to be grateful, or we um, forget to put things into perspective and see that actually it's not, if it's not that bad, or at least it could be worse. Um, I don't know about, um, other people but for me when I put things into perspective and I realize that hold on it could actually be much much worse because there's all sorts of people in the world and they're dealing with all sorts of issues and when I think of things in that kind of a perspective it makes me feel better that actually hold on I'm, I'm not that you know it's not that bad for me um, so even if it's just that the four of cups is just reminding us to be grateful for what we have and when we are in the energy of the Four of Cups, it's difficult for us to do that. We kind of lose sight of everything else, or we choose to lose sight of everything else and just have a little bit of a pity party. Um, and with the Four of Cups, you know, it could just be superficial things. It's comparing ourselves to others and uh, somehow we fall short. Or, you know, we don't have as much as other people, or we don't have uh, clothes that other people do, or we don't have the car, or we don't have the whatever superficial aspect. And it makes us feel sad because actually we have all the resources we need to just be happy, to just be content. Um, and nothing stopping us from, you know, looking for more or thriving for more. Um, but it's just that kind of an energy that the Four of Cups talks about. Uh, and this is something from the past that is influencing our current situation or our current state. Or maybe this is the kind of state of being we are in um, for... Uh, the past few days, the past few weeks, who knows, maybe it comes and goes, but that's the kind of energy that is influencing our current state of mind. And today's energy, we have the High Priestess. And with the High Priestess, um, it's all about going beneath the surface, okay? With the High Priestess, it's not the superficial, it's not the shallow things that are important. So for today, we are encouraged to look beneath the surface. We are encouraged to dig deeper. We are encouraged to look for more information, gain more knowledge. We are encouraged to look at things from a either a more grounded perspective or looking in th at things a little bit more in depth or um, doing some soul searching and some self-reflection self today to kind of snap us out of the Four of Cups energy if this is something that you know, is causing issues. And with the Four of Cups, it kind of sneaks up on you. You don't always realize that you're in this kind of a state. Um, and so I feel like with the High Priestess, that's why we're encouraged to do some soul searching, some meditation, 
um, or just some research in general with things that have been going on for us or symbols we may have been encountering or things that have been on our mind and I feel like we're encouraged to do that because we um, that way we become aware of an underlying issue and that's how we can fix it and so the high priestess today is look deeper look beneath the surface don't react get more information before um, you decide how you want to react to something or how you want to act in a certain situation. The High Priestess is also asking us to listen to our intuition, use our inner guidance uh, or higher guidance, higher knowing, inner knowing, whatever you want to call it, um, to make decisions today, to see what's really going on today. Maybe we're dealing with someone who um, is going through a bit of a hard time with the Four of Cups energy and we could help them today or at least we could uh, respond to them with kindness and positivity as opposed to um, maybe judging them or reacting negatively in terms of what's your problem or what's going on with you or um, you know whatever the case may be because when you're dealing with someone who's a bit negative or who's in a negative state it has a way of um, being contagious doesn't it and so with the high priestess today we're asked to uh, stay calm to look beneath the surface whether it's for ourselves or for someone else to see if how how and if uh, we can help them in some kind of a way and even if it's just to send positive energy their way that's actually helping um, as opposed to sending more negativity to them um, and so with the high priestess today is a day when we are encouraged to understand things to process things to look at things in depth to contemplate take some time to really look at a situation take some time to um, try to understand it from different points of view um, it will be a very, very enriching um, experience, I feel. And it can just be a day of study or a day when we learn a lot, whether it's, you know, through traditional means where we read on something or uh, we learn something from an interaction or we learn something from observing something. But I feel like it's a day for us to gain knowledge that will serve us um, very well moving forward. And with the High Priestess, again, we are encouraged that no matter what's going on around us, try to stay calm, collected, and always think about things in depth. So not taking something at face value and then coming up with an opinion or even uh, some sort of an immediate reaction um, to a situation that maybe we're not understanding properly. Remember, it still is Mercury in retrograde, and so that can create confusion and misinterpretation, miscommunication. And so for today, I feel that we are asked to keep our eyes open and our mind's eye open and our hearts open to really um, be willing to understand, to really understand, to process. And I feel like today could be a day for epiphanies, could be a day for um, aha moments where something just clicks and we understand a certain pattern that we have been reenacting or someone else's patterns and why they are the way they are. Um, whatever the case may be, it's very, very enriching. And um, the way we move into tomorrow, we have the Five of Swords. So with the Five of Swords and how we're moving into tomorrow, and it, it, this can be actual tomorrow or just the future in general. The Five of Swords is an energy that talks about a change because it is a number five. So something changing, something being broken down, something that we have been at war with perhaps, or have had battles with or struggles with is now broken down and we are the victor um, for some of us it shows up as the five of swords because there was no real opponent there uh, maybe we were just fighting ourselves or we were fighting our own inner knowledge or we were fighting our own instincts um, and so now that gets changed and we are a victor but again because we were the opponent um, as well it's not really a proper victory and so maybe that's why the five of swords shows up um, in the proper way I mean in the traditional sense um, and the five of swords says now we know those are our lessons okay with the five of swords and maybe we've been going back and forth with something or maybe we've been um, hitting the same wall over and over again when we didn't understand why or we didn't process it correctly or properly and so we kept banging our head against that wall and now we understand what the issue was and so that's why this shows up as a victory card and it shows up um as the five of swords because swords are our 
thinking, our intellect, our rational mind. So we are understanding, we are expanding our minds, we're expanding our knowledge and our experience. And that is where the victory lies for us. And now we can really make changes. Now we can really um, have some progress as opposed to apparent progress where, you know, we move away from an issue only to face it again uh, later on because that's just going in circles. Now it's actual change, real change that we can create by looking in depth, by going beneath the surface, by being open to receiving this knowledge. And it's not always easy. Our guidance card is number 43. And this is a card that um, first of all, it adds up to a seven and it's all about our truth and seeing the truth of a situation, seeing the truth of the matter, um, the essence, if you will. So again, it's going in depth. And in this card, we see this beautiful woman who is isolated in a room. She's by herself and she's surrounded by mirrors. So it talks about shallow energy. It talks about being superficial. It talks about focusing on the superficial things or the wrong things or the things that are passing okay they're are not long lasting um, and it's also a bit of a metaphor for going around in circles within our own minds because when we are surrounded by mirrors the only thing that we are seeing in that mirror is actually what we put into it isn't it so in other words we only have our own vision or our own input our own experience um, to process because maybe we don't want to open up or maybe we're struggling with opening up or maybe we find it difficult to overcome that initial block you know especially when we're dealing with someone who's negative when we're dealing with someone who um, is a bit of a pessimist and um, is doing a little bit of a pity party for themselves and the initial reaction and it's natural is either to say I don't want to be around this person because I don't I don't feel okay I don't feel right or um, this person just makes me angry or um, I don't know what the problem is and so on and so forth and so maybe that's the effort for us today whatever that's just an example but whatever the case may be we're asked to overcome that initial hiccup that initial block um, that is keeping things on a superficial superficial level where it's just reacting to things as opposed to properly understanding them and to look beneath the surface and to be open to receiving other perspectives or to seeing other perspectives not just our own um, and that's how we break the walls and that's how we learn we grow we expand okay and we see things for what they really are as opposed to maybe a projection of what we think they are or maybe what we were taught to believe they are and never really questioned it and so on and so forth so for today i feel like it's a focus for us to um look beneath the surface dig a little deeper uh really look to process really look to understand as opposed to just react um and that's a way for us to grow um, and I feel like really some, some deep understandings could happen today. Some really deep um, aha moments could happen for us today, enabling us to break free and to create real change in our lives. And it really starts with our own minds, doesn't it? So um, I feel like that's a really, really significant message for us today. Um, and it's definitely very encouraging. Um, it can be an effort to control the ego because it's the ego making us just react or judge people or whatever um, as opposed to saying hold on okay yes it doesn't make me feel good or yes I may not like this person but maybe there's a lesson here or maybe I can learn something from this person um, and you know a clue should be that we even get triggered by someone or something why is that a trigger for us and it can be an effort yes to really go to something that makes you feel uncomfortable but if we can learn the lesson behind that then we're never actually going to feel uncomfortable in that situation ever again because we're no we're going to know what it is and knowledge is power isn't it so knowing things makes us feel secure or comfortable or in control so you can just look at it as that understanding a situation so that it doesn't have power over you um and going from that to discovering some truths about ourselves today um, that allow us to move forward in healthy directions 
or to create healthy change in our lives. Um, or maybe, you know, we're on the verge of starting some sort of spiritual journey or a quest of sorts, delving into our spirituality, looking beneath the surface, understanding, trying to understand the secrets of the mind or the secrets of the universe, whatever the case may be. I feel like it's a day for knowledge today. And if we're open and willing to go on the ride, um, I feel like it's going to be a really enriching day for us. So I hope the message makes sense. Um, and I hope that it helps. It's always interesting for me to see how different oracle decks I use bring forward different themes, different different topics, different um, things for us to focus upon. Um, and I'm really enjoying this uh, deck. It's the Oracle of Visions by Ciro Marchetti or Marchetti. Um, and this is the Gilded Tarot by the same author. He's one of my favorites. Um, and um, I feel like he's really, he creates really expressive work okay and uh, i hope you enjoy these decks as well maybe i'll do a review on them just to show you what the decks are but they're really really beautiful images and i hope that you get a lot out of them yourself really look at the cards maybe you know you're seeing something that i'm not maybe you're supposed to get additional messages just by looking at the cards yourself um, and opening your mind to receive messages um, for me they're really really talkative okay they share a lot so i hope that i'm able to relay those messages to you in a, in a clear and helpful way but um thank you very much for being here as always thank you for joining me thank you for all your support truly um i'm working hard to catch up but i'm working on the monthlies and um, the weeklies i may not be able to cover this week just because i'm kind of behind already but i'll try to start with next week so that you have your weeklies as well um and thank you so much for your support and for anything that you do really just sending me positive energy it really really helps and i appreciate it and i'm sending lots of love so have a fantastic day and i'll talk to you tomorrow take care